quick uh, demonstration of how uh, you could set uh, a dimension style as desired with numbers. So this is meant to uh, demonstrate how you would set uh, your style, but uh, nothing to do with scale or uh, annotated dimension or paper space. Just uh, a quick demonstration for bigger results. Somebody wants to set their own uh, dimension style uh, accordingly. Okay, so we're gonna go to annotate. Here you have uh, already a style set in AutoCAD. We have standards ISO and annotated. So I'm gonna make a copy of the standard. So I'm gonna click here for dimension uh, style uh, window. Here I select the standards and I don't want to make the changes here. So I want to create or duplicate uh, the standards and uh, the style and make uh, a new one. So I'm gonna say new. It's a copy of the stands. I could rename it here, but at the moment I'm just going to leave it as it is. But you could give it any name, the name of the project or your name or a special style. Yeah, you can put it my, my style maybe. So I continue. I'll make sure it's not uh, uh, clicked here. Keep it as it is, as, as, as that. So we're not talking about annotated, just a standard uh, dimension style. Continue. So in this window, you will see a lot of uh, numbers that you could modify. Now, my uh, my units here is millimeters. So, for example, if you look at the text point 18, this will not be shown here. It will be very small. So, for the for the demonstration purpose, I'm just gonna add it uh, 200 millimeters, for example, just so you could uh, you will be able to see it. But uh, in reality, maybe this number is not. So this means that uh, I change the height of the, uh, the dimension of the text of the dimension to 200. Also, we could change the style to uh, different, but this is not uh, my lesson today, but you could go here and change the, the type of the font you want and whatever. Um, and let's look at the lines first of all. So here are a few numbers related to the lines. So for example, here it says extend beyond dimension line which mean uh, in little notch here is how much you want. Here it says uh, 0.18 watch. The screen, the preview window, window here. So if I say, I'm just gonna exaggerate it, 100. Okay, look what it happened. So we have a little, this, if you want, if this is desired, then you could change it in this uh, window here. Here also offset from origin. This is how far you wanna set your, um, your dimension line from the building line. So usually we have a space here in between. So I'm gonna make it also, let's say 200 milli. Yeah, and you could see the changes here. Uh, what else I could change here? Uh, let us go to the uh, symbols and arrows. So this is the end arrow here for the for the dimension line. Uh, here it says 0.18, also very smooth. So I'm just gonna exaggerate it more so you could see it. Look here, you could see the arrows. Uh, notice uh, the location of the, te of the text, the numbers are on the side. First of all, let us um, uh, change the precision of decimal to zero because this is millimeters, so I'm not using any decimal. And now it forces the numbers to be, uh, as you could see, horizontal, but on the line. I want these numbers to be above, so I'm going to go to uh, fit or uh, text. Okay, text, this is my text, so now I want my text to be aligned with the dimension, so I'm going to align it also. I want to force it outside, not within the dimension line. So instead of saying the text placement center, I'll use above. Also, I need to keep them a bit far away from the dimension line because they look very close here. So I'm going to say offset from the dimension line by uh, 50 milli, maybe something like that. Now you could see your, your text is far away or even maybe hundred so you can see more okay um, that's what I want to do here and that's what I want to do in, as, a, as a as a final modification all right so now I'm gonna go okay uh, this will be my current I'll set it current already set and if I go do a dimension line you can see from here to here now this is my dimension line if it's, this is too large or too big you could go back and change uh, the style as you want.